back in that, back in that bag again. Whoa, oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Back in that, yeah. Tell them to watch it. Now I ain't talking my pockets. Just know we ain't running out the way that we stock it. If I got it, you got it. If I What's up guys and thank you guys for tuning back into another video and if you guys are new to my channel make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Um, right here we're basically just going to be doing an install wig. We're going to tone this wig now. This wig was very yellow like you can see like it was very yellow. Those are the toners that we went in with and right here I'm just showing you like what type of wig that it was. Then this is all the stuff that we used to achieve this color. We started off by running water <laughs> in a bucket but we started off by running water in that bucket then we added the toners um those are the toners that i use right here i'm just dumping them out and then after i dump one bottle i'm gonna fill it up two times i believe of developer and just pour it in there and i'm gonna do that for each three bottles Now I'm going to go in with 20 volume developer and I'm going to just pour them inside of the water and tone the mix. I kind of over photoed a little bit, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm just pouring it all in there. I'm going to do that twice for every like five hours. After I did that, I'm then going to mix it. Mix it with the, I'm then gonna mix it all together with the water and the toner and the developer. I honestly didn't pour all of the um developer, not the developer, all of the toner in there because I'm like, hmm, it already looked like a little bit weird. I felt like I don't know what I was saying. I felt like I was putting like it was too much water in there. I'm not gonna lie, I felt like it was too much water in there. But that's how it looked, and I did wet the wig before I put it in there. Please wet your wig before you put it in there. Otherwise, it's gonna take up more color on some spots, and it's gonna become splotchy. Um, but I then just dipped it in and out and it didn't really look like it was doing something but like trust the process trust the process Now I'm letting it like sit in there. I let it sit in there for a little bit and I'm like combing it through so that like I can get through every strand. And then I'm just putting it back up in the water. Um, after that, I did mix the toner inside of like a bottle. So I opened up the toner and I poured it, the liquid. I poured it inside of the bottle. And then after that, I added the um, as much developer that I did need. And again, I did go in there with 20 volume developer. Um, after I put that in there, Mm, I wasted some. Don't even do too much. Don't even do too much. After that, I then shook the mixture up and like I gave it a real good shake, as y'all can see. Like it's it's speeding, like it's sped up, but like yeah, shake shake it up, get it mixed up in there. You do not want to see lines of color in there. Now keep in mind, I did have the wig sitting in that mixture still while I was fixing up the other toner in the application bottle. So as you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm just like taking it out of there and squeezing the majority of the water and the toner out. After that, I then put it on there like y'all see what I'm doing. I just put it on there. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Like I tried to get like a good like view and stuff, but this is the best that I could do because I was really trying to get it throughout the whole strands of hair, like really get it throughout there. One thing that I like also like forgot to do, I did it obviously, but like make sure that y'all open up the track and like get it thoroughly through the hair. Like please get it thoroughly through the hair. Don't just like put it on top of the wig because it's only going to tone one part of the wig. It's not going to get throughout the hair. That's why you're supposed to comb it and like open it up and like get in between the tracks and stuff. <laughs>
After that, I then washed the wig. Um, I started off rinsing it and then I did go in. I don't know if you was supposed to do this. And I know I'm in hair school and I know I'm supposed to know and I'm gonna know, but like, shoot, I didn't have no other shampoo, so. Um, and I was just showing y'all the wig right there. <laughs> but I'm just rinsing it and then I did go in with a little bit of purple shampoo just to get like the wash. Like I didn't wanna just rinse it and it wasn't clean. And we not doing that, so no. <laughs> so boom, there go the purple shampoo. Um, I put it on there a little bit. I didn't want to get too much on there, so like I just did it like that. Um, and yeah, basically I just washed it, make sure like it's rinsed very good, and just get all of that extra toner and all of that soap out of the way. Make sure you get it out. This is how it came out um, as far as what I was just showing you guys like how it looked on, the, uh, on my hand or whatever. You can tell like in some spots it's like more blonde um, and I honestly think that was because when I put the toner on directly like I put it mainly on the top but it, it, it still came out cute. Don't do too much but yeah so I'm just combing it through and I'm just showing y'all. Okay, so we got Jazz, of course, and we're just going to grease her scalp before we do the ball cap method. Now, I usually do go in with oil, but I didn't have oil, so therefore I used that Good Be Magic. Yeah, yeah, get it together. Um, you just want to put it in each part because a lot of girls don't even put grease or oil in their hair, so yeah. Um, so you already know how to do this. We're just going to put the ball cap on Big HD, get y'all them HD, get y'all them HDs. Then after you put the uh, ball cap on, you are gonna cut the ears out. Um, just like what I'm doing, just cut it in the middle, cut it up a little bit or down, don't really matter. Just make sure that the ears popping out. Ooh, some felt like it bit me right there, y'all. Don't do too much, I, mm -mm, don't don't even come for me. Some felt like it bit me. And no, I don't got it, like, anyways. So boom, you're just gonna cut each side of the ears out and, and then I'm gonna um, put the makeup on top of her head before I spray it. Now you could do it either way. I do it, sometimes I do it differently on different people, I don't know. I just be trying to like see which ones I like better. But um, after we are gonna go in with this makeup, and then I did mix it with this one because I didn't have her correct shade. But as you can see, I'm just applying it all over her head, um, all over because she's getting the middle part. So like you do want to focus everywhere, but you want to like focus for real on wherever your part's going to be because that's like what they're going to see up under. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I am getting a little bit of her forehead also, like a little bit above the her hairline. Just so that when I spray the glue, it'll also, you know, yeah. <laughs> now y'all already know, I use the Wonder Bun, the black bottle. I don't be having no problems with it. Like, I use it like, I don't know, just get it, just try it, just yeah. Um, I had her holding the um, thing because, first of all, I don't do too much. This was free. But not even that. Like, I be like, it, it, it do make a difference when they do hold it. I'm like, okay. But I'm just going around her hairline because since you guys can't see, like, what I'm actually doing. But you feel me? Yeah, I turned her head. Because you feel me? Y'all my people. Now subscribe. Because I just, yeah, I helped y'all out. But anyway, so I'm just making sure that it's really glued all around her ear. Like, like I'm holding it. Y'all seen the whole, like, literally pressing it, pushing it. Like, for real. Look at the hand. Like, yeah. Um, then we get to this side. I'm doing the same thing um, that I did before. And also, I don't think I showed it on the camera, but I also did brush her edges back and like glued them down. Not glued them down, but I brushed her edges back before I put the um, ball cap on. Then after that, I cut out each side of her um, ears. Um, then I just cut around the lace. I really like cut like that or like I'll cut ear to ear, but I try to hurry up before like it starts snatching on. Right 
I did end up switching from my scissors to, or shears, whatever you want to call them, to a razor because it gave it more so like an undefined shape. Like, it don't give it so much of a line like scissors do. So, that's what you really want other than like a box cut or like, you know, you don't want that. Like, you really want something that don't look even or like that do, but don't if that makes sense. <laughs> Then after that, I put a little bit of makeup on the rest, like what you guys can see. Like I put a little bit of makeup on it so that when I do spray the spray, I am going to hold that down so that it can blend a little bit better. Um, this is the wig, and that's you feel me in the clip with my yeah, we be yeah. All right. Then I did go in and apply the makeup, make sure that I made for her onto her lace and her knots. Now before I do anything, I usually like slick all the hairs back, black stick it, whatever you gotta do. Just make sure like the hairs is pushed back before you glue that hair and make that hairline on their head. After that, I'm going to clip her hair out the way because I'm now about to start doing it. But before I do that, I'm going to cut the lace. Keep in mind when you cut the lace, why did I just sound like that? But when you cut the lace, you really want to make sure that it fit over the ear. You see how I'm not cutting it like straight up, I'm cutting it at an angle towards her ear, but to fit over her ear. Like, keep in mind, like, you don't want it to be the ear to be like flopping down, okay? Before I cut the lace, I usually cut the lace in like three sections and then I spray it up underneath and a little bit on the ball cap. But if you spray it on the ball cap, make sure that like you make sure that the ball cap don't start flipping back because it, it, it will like start moving forward. But you see how like when I press it down, I'm sorry, I was kind of in the way. But if you see like how I'm pressing it down, you can't see the lace. Yeah, put that blow dryer on it, babe. Yeah. <laughs> and then after you put that blow dryer on it, you want to get that comb to and swoop that thing back. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now for the sides, you can see me like playing around with it. You got to do that because you need to make sure like that it covers their hair and that it also like look right, you feel me? So I'm just spraying it a little bit over just like that, just to get around her hair. And then after that, I'm gonna, you see that air popping out? Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna place it over and I'm gonna comb it and make sure that it glues down and that it stays. Hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit, uh, and I know your taste is a little bit, mm, high maintenance, uh, 
now if you cut it into three like i do you're gonna have a piece that's not glued down which is gonna be those corner pieces make sure that you glue those down and also pull that a little bit forward i should be doing that right now okay i did it but pull it a little bit forward i guess i didn't need to but you might have to After I do that, I'm then going to put the hot comb on it and just bring those hairs back because I'm about to put the band on it so it can sit while I style it. A little bit of makeup did get on her hair so I just cleaned it off a little bit with um, an alcohol wipe. After that, I then like sectioned her hair and I just basically curled it. I'm gonna show y'all how I curled it, and it was like wasn't really curling, but it was, it was, but um, yeah. Then I'm gonna start to curl it and then so basically for this make sure that the hair is like like not stuck into the rod Please make sure of that um, Then I'm just gonna start bringing it up like more and more Stop sometimes so that you can get the heat in the curl right now You don't want to let the curl go you really want to keep as much tension as possible You want to let it out in your hand like you see me doing <clears throat> Whoa, um, then you want to pin it after you do that, you want to cut the front like over direct it to the back a little bit just to get a little bit of a layer. If you want more, then you just will cut more um, into your, your wig. Now for the front pieces, you really want to make sure that the hair is away from the um, face. So you want to curl away from the face, basically, just like you see me doing. And make sure that hair is coming out. Like, you see how I grabbed it? Make sure you grab it. 
Um, this is sped up, so it might look like I'm moving very fast, but like I really wasn't. <laughs> Before you do your top pieces, make sure that you get that hot comb and lay that muff. Yeah, lay it flat just so mm, you see that little line in there. Yeah, that wasn't supposed to happen, but lay it flat so that it won't. It's already a curl, so it's already gonna be like up. Make sure that at least the root is flat. After the heat, I then went in with the wax stick just so it could be more slicker. Then I'm gonna split the front because you should never curl something that's bigger than your curling iron. Like you should never do that. I mean, you can, but like, <laughs> you feel me? I go to school. Like, don't, yeah, yeah, just listen to me. <laughs> but you see what I'm doing? You already see how smooth that look. Like, look how I'm, look how I'm curling it. Yeah, get into it. I don't know what happened, but I just went to see something and that wasn't it. But get into it. <laughs> I did end up pulling her edges off off camera, but um, now we're just gonna cut the lace. You wanna cut up underneath the um, edge. Don't cut over, obviously, you're gonna cut your edges off. But y'all see how I'm doing. I'm going like around her face shape. Also, I then like tightened in a little bit more because like that was broke. It came broke. But anyways, I had to just fix that up and like this is just a little hack. Now to get rid of the little ashy look, we're just going over it with a little bit of the glue, not too much, and we are going to get the glue off her forehead with an alcohol wipe. But we're just going to put a little bit of heat to it and just melt it in more.
Okay, y'all, edges, 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 and edges. Do not cut them edges straight across. Please, over direct, under direct, just direct it some other type of way, other than straight across, okay? <laughs> just make sure, like, just just don't do it. Just see how I'm doing it, yeah. And I prefer a razor. I mean, scissors, you can use scissors or shears, whatever. But I prefer a razor. But I'm just cutting it backwards, like, behind her head. and doing that for each edge. Then I'm just gonna curl it with my little, little, little baby flat irons. We're just gonna curl it upwards. You can curl it upwards, downwards, sideways, whatever you wanna do. But for this look, we're curling it like this. So first, I'm going to go in with some mousse. Um, I'm just going to comb into shape that I want it, just, just like you see me doing it. Take your time when you're doing the edges. Don't rush it. Um, and just really let the like let the hair flow into the way of the curl. Like Just let it flow and just keep repeating the same thing you do. Make sure you got your other hand. Like You really got to really hold it down, swoop. Like It's, really, it's not hard, but you really got to be patient with it. This is the look with all the pins and they some of them was falling. Don't do too much. Y'all just just don't do too much. But this is how I look with her edges. And I'm just taking them out right now before I comb them out or anything. I'm just gonna show y'all how they look like when I take them out. So this is how they came out before I combed them out or anything. Like this is how tight the curl was. This is how curly it was. Um, I'm just going over it with the hot comb. Remember, we want it flat. We want it slick. We want it chevy chivank. Like, what do you mean? And make sure you get under that hair for real. She wanted more of a looser, like wave curl, so I just went in with my hands. You going with a comb, but I just decided to go in with my hands just to loosen it up a little bit. Now, as you can see by me combing that out, it low key like took the curl away. So I, I know when I'm doing, you feel me, I just look at my imperfections and there you go. 
And after that, this is like, she thinks she's so cute, but this is like basically how it came out. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on that post notification bell. Look at that curl. Go, girl. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm out.